All right, this is going to be a quick little overview of SuperOS. And uh, pretty much, if you're familiar with familiar with uh, Linux Mint, right, how that's a respin of Ubuntu with, uh, you know, extra codexes and Flash and stuff like that. This is pretty much the same thing, but it doesn't have that particular branding. It's just, it's basically, it looks and feels just like Ubuntu. But he just adds the, uh, what do you call it, the extra Flash, you know, codexes, uh, Java, some browsers, and all kinds of good stuff. So basically for me, well personally I use this distro, uh, this respan I should say, for my uh, like my personal use. You know, I usually uh, download it, I'll, I'll burn it to a CD. If people ask, you know, if they want to try out Ubuntu, I'll give them this particular uh, CD or DVD. It's it, If you download this, it's going to be about a gig and a half or a gig or a gig and a quarter. So it, it's, pretty, it's pretty big. But anyways, let me just uh, show you what it has. Right here's his wiki. I'll, I'll put the uh, the link in the description down below. And you know it even has a uh, what do you call it? Um, offline capability of installing drivers. So say like you don't have a an internet source, right? This is pretty good for these Broadcom uh, wireless cards. So like you kind of need to to be connected to the web in order to download the firmware or whatever for the Broadcom wireless. So I guess he has it all bundled up already pre-installed. You just uh, you select the uh, you know the uh, what's it called jockey or uh, extra drivers and it'll uh, install it for you without any any type of an uh, internet source which is cool right anyways um, you know still has unity you know what I mean uh, um, it comes with the app runner that that I showed in a previous video it even has this uh, little uh, I just made a video about this this morning about the uh, the net boot unit boot that's pretty cool so uh, anyways let me just show you what it has. Let's see. I've already been using it for a little bit. I'm actually using this off a USB stick, so uh, it makes a really good, you know, portable distro because it has everything, you know, pre-installed, you know, just a, you know, ready and go. Anyways, let me uh, see. Uh, installed. Is there any way you can show it all? There we go. All right. It has Google Chrome. Has Opera. Has uh, Firefox by default. It has uh, VLC. It has Wine. Wine Tricks, uh, Skype, here's Skype over here. What else? It has, I believe, AMS, ASMN, what do you call that? That Instant Messenger? Can never pronounce it right. There it goes. AMSN has this as well. And plus, you know, of course, the offline installer and, and other stuff too. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. You know, it's, it's basically Ubuntu with, uh, how can I say it? It's like Ubuntu Plus. <laughs> so it's pretty good you know what I mean I recommend it to a lot of people you know they just if they're new to Ubuntu they just want to give it a go without having any without having to worry about you know downloading extra stuff you know what I mean it's just it's ready it's packaged and uh, I believe it supports Wubi there was a couple uh, releases back where they couldn't support it anymore but I think they got that figured out by now so anyways that's it for now and uh, thanks for watching